Well, hello. Welcome to the 47% making the top half possible. I apologize deeply for missing last week's stream. It seems that uh, when you decide to take a 15 minute nap after a long week of work, you end up waking up about 8.30 in the evening. <clears throat> Funny. Funny how that happens. Um... As you can guess by the title, I don't feel like focusing on any particular mission set or objective um, other than grabbing some scouts and doing some spotting. Uh, and depending on how things go, either playing the, the passive scout and sit in the bush and be that scrub in the shrub and... Uh, <laughs> Or do a little active scouting, and if I'm going to die, I might as well die in a flaming blaze of glory kind of deal. Um, so with that said, let me go ahead and get a couple of personal reserves going. Yes, I would like that for an hour. I would love that for an hour. And I really should do some of these... Uh, yeah, let's do crew XP. Just remind me in an hour that I really need to bump up those other two. Alright, so we got those guys going. And... I guess off to the battles we go. I might as well start this off with a nice stunning loss of money. So I'll grab my tier 9. T-49, I finally got that cannon. I've been grinding that thing for that gun launcher for a while now. Uh, probably would have made better forward progress if I had played it consistently. Um, when you play as infrequently as I do, you've got a couple of different options for getting better. One of which is you could do like what my sister does and specialize in a very narrow branch. Uh, all she does is play German artillery. That's it, not just artillery, German artillery specifically. That's it, nothing else. So while she doesn't play all that often, her stats are pretty good. Um, but again, that comes from specializing. She understands the quirks and the intricacies and everything involved in uh, that very particular subgroup of tanks. As you notice by my garage and my stats, I am all over the place. Um, so yeah, good, good luck trying to pin me down to any one particular thing. Um, it means that it takes me longer to get certain things. It means it takes me longer to do certain things, but kind of like having a more diverse experience and so that's yeah so even though I know that it, it, it does come at a cost that's um, that's the way I'll play in the meantime I'm going to try to get up into that wonderful spotting spot if I'm moving fast enough and with my luck I'm probably not especially since I'm already spotted Alright, uh, let's see if I can at least get up there and tuck in. One of the nice things is that is a hard place to uh, to dig out, assuming you got support. And in theory, I've got plenty of very nice support. I say that just as the artillery hits me. Spot something from here. Alright, uh, Fine. I'll play it a little more aggressive then. Oh, hello. Yep, 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 yep. I see it, I see it, I see it. 
I probably should fix the driver. But I'm not feeling the overwhelming levels of support. Ah! And that was a waste of a fine repair kit. Okay. So, about that blaze of glory. Yep. Um, I need to get the thing that shows that, uh, get my mini-map big and centered for times like this. Uh, <laughs> that lemming train has me really worried about the possible results for this match. Uh, this might be over quicker than I thought, just because we really needed maybe one more tank over here, but definitely uh, more support on that lower flank. Um, two poor souls to hold that off is not enough, especially if they do a push with a big honking heavy like that object 357. Or 257, sorry. Ah, tired is it already. Um, although it looks like we just have Clash of the Titans in the Northeast, so I don't know. I'm not going to sit around and watch. I'm going to go ahead and go back to the garage, pick up a fresh scout, and hope that round two is a little bit better than round one, because, uh, yeah, that was not an auspicious start. Um, in all fairness, I should have stayed back a little bit further. And I shouldn't have made that run until I healed my driver. Because um, as long as uh, as long as the driver was damaged, that was always going to be a hard escape. And uh, I was never going to make the turn to go back into the place I was hiding, which is what I should have done. Uh, hindsight being 2020 and all that. All right. Um, you know what? Let me let me take these guys out. It's been a while since I played them, and I really do need the crew XP on these guys anyway. Um, my much beloved T21 crew got moved up to the T49 when I got it. So that, that's why my T49 crew has a fair number of skills. I really did enjoy this T21. And you kind of, you don't really notice the difference that a top, top crew makes until you put in a fresh crew in a tank you've been playing for a while. It's part of what has a lot of people upset about the, the pay-to-win sort of aspect of World of Tanks. That uh, you start off with a really, really crap crew. And the best you can do without forking over real live money, hard cash, the best you can do is to get them up to 75% effectiveness. Uh, yeah, okay. Um, there's a huge difference between a 75% crew and a 100% crew. Um, what I really need to do is take one of my premium tanks, throw in a uh, fresh crew, and then play it again with a crew that has some skills and show you the difference. Uh, maybe I'll do that with some of my mediums, because I know I'll get a couple of good ones to work with there. Alright. I don't even know where to go on this map anymore. I think I'll... Uh, mm, mm. Alright. At least I'm not the only scout. I guess I'll head... Yeah, because I'm used to spawning in the north. I'll head off to that eastern flank. And see what I can spot on that side. Time to roll out. The always ever delicate. Yeah, so we got a fast little French wheel tank. That's always nice. Uh, I know this used to have superb view range, but again, that was with 100% crew with a couple of crew skills that help trick out the uh, view range a little bit. Yeah, yeah, sure. Let's uh, take our chances. Oop. I clutched that shot bad. Are you siding around there? Not hiding out in the open mode. Depending on what they have up there, this isn't a bad place to be, although I do see they had somebody up on that ridge up there. 
And that's what I guess we're looking in the wrong direction. Can I at least get some return fire on the Hellcat? No. Of course not. Why should this round be any better? <sighs> this is what I get for not playing for a couple of weeks. Alright, let's go back to the garage. Let's take something else out for a spin. something different let's try yeah, let's stay in the lower tiers that seems to be about my speed today let's take these guys this is a hundred percent crew they normally sit in my LTG I'm trading them training them up um, I think I got a scrub crew I can throw in there in the next go around so let's take this up with a fully trained crew they, they have a hundred percent skills they're working towards their first um, additional perk and um, then I'll throw in a junk crew and show you the difference finally catching up on a lot of my videos and uh, saw a couple by quickie baby one of them was uh, some of the changes that they plan on making to artillery has finally hit the test server. And, uh, man, they're really whacking already with a nerf bat. I mean, it, it re after what they've done previously, it really feels like they're kicking a puppy after he tripped and fell. Uh, it's just, yeah. There's a very valid reason for artillery being in there, and I don't just say that because I enjoy playing the tank. It does a wonderful job of rooting out stuck-in tanks. Uh, you saw what the artillery did to my ability to spot on that first map. And uh, that hit would have done less damage and would have stunned me for less with the changes coming in test, assuming that they stay as is. Uh, so I wouldn't have been stunned as long. I wouldn't have taken as much damage because it was not a direct hit. And uh, given that they've already woofed up the accuracy um, such that even the most perfectly aimed shot, no matter how good your skill, no matter how much they stay just in that perfect spot, you, you're just never going to really kind of... You're never really going to be able to make uh, make much of it. And that's just sad, because, I mean, I, I get throwing a little bit of randomness in there, so that way you can't, you don't reward the people with the aimbots and all that. At least that's what uh, the justification put forth in, in the support forums was uh, that they throw RNG in there, so that way it... it doesn't give cheaters the edge. Uh, that sounds like a thin justification to me, but, uh, hey, what do I know? In the meanwhile, there's no point in really developing skill because you get a 25% chance that the shot's just gonna go really weird anyway. I'm spotting all these people, but, uh, Here's where a couple of artillery would be really nice. I know we've got the one guy, and he's doing the best he can. There we go. There's some spot. I'm going to keep it safe as long as I can. I'm worried about that Cromwell. I'm also worried about that archer hanging out in the back there. And I spot him. Nope. Uh, I can get a shot by the T-28, though. Okay. Now, right now, I'm just trying to keep as much lit up as I can. Ooh. 
That M4 is coming. We got a couple of minerals. Try to hold back a little bit. Yeah, no. Of course not. I thought we had a couple of mediums coming up though. It appears I was mistaken in that belief. Yeah. I'm going to take some hits coming around for this. Oh, come on guys. Yep, 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 yep. Oh. So far we're on a bit of a losing streak. Good thing there's nobody watching live. Forty-nine. We lost. Eh, seems to have gone pretty close. That's just sad. And even with a day of premium and a credit booster, I still lost three k. Ouch! I didn't even fire a shot. <laughs> All right. What about this one? We won this one. <laughs> I got the Battle Buddy. One of the most useless ribbons out there because it does nothing to stop team damage. That one went that one went a whole lot better. Interesting. Huh. Wish I'd stayed alive for that one. Made up enough money to make up for that loss. So there's that at least. Sorry, I got roommates dancing weirdly off camera. One of these days I'll put a little motor on this thing so that way I can turn it around when they do stuff like that. <laughs> Alright, so... I was going to use that one to show what a sucky crew can do. Because uh, more more the pay to win, you know, a difference between a hundred percent crew and a seventy five percent crew uh, in the same tank with the same equipment, and it's just it's just sad. It's really sad. You know, it makes me happy. An auto loader? No, auto loaders don't make me happy. I much prefer a single shot. And in a surprise to no one, we lost that last one. feel like the background music is louder than normal. So I might go try to turn that down a little bit in a second. While the map is loading, let's see if I can manage that. Go in here, go to background. Pull it down there. Oop, 
Okay, good. 12 seconds. Nah. Ensk is not one of the maps I enjoy playing, but I also don't like the closed-in city map types. But, uh, what the heck? You get the maps you get. Although I think in one of the uh, upcoming updates, they're supposed to be putting in a system that will let you exclude maps. So if you've got maps that you do not like, um, you'll be able to set at least one map as a banned map that you never see again. Oh, uh, okay, I guess I was spotted. I thought this crew had six cents. Apparently not. I... Yeah. And back to Artie actually does something effective. No matter how protected I am from that centurion. And his little buddies over there. As long as they're in artillery, I really will need to move. There's a building there. Can I get some side shots in there like that? Oh, oh. Nope. And we just got the full reload. And I'm trying to remember what the keyboard macro was for the reload counter. I want to say there's F8, but I ain't just going to start randomly hitting keys either. there. <sighs> Not a bit of spotting assisted. Not a shot fired home. And here comes our scout to run a rough shot over the only backup I had back there. change plans. Slay tanks aren't working out so well today. I wanted something easy enough to manage and fun. But I haven't really gotten a good map that you can just kind of run around and congratulations, you've received one token? Token have I received? A token achievement? A Sweden token. What did I do to earn a Sweden token? Buy some chocolate? Uh, <laughs> oh yeah, be among the top ten. <laughs> okay, sure. And to check in the rest of the results on that one too. Because it was a loss. I had actually done some damage and spotted some. Okay, I didn't lose money. I'll call that a win. Alright, do I have... Let's see. What other guys do I have? Huh. Ooh. Ooh. That, that went south very quick. I was not expecting to see battle results on that one for a little while. Well, okay then. Um, hmm. Oh, I didn't lose money. Because I spotted a couple people. Doesn't look like scouts from our thing today. 
Let's just go ahead and let, let's do something a little different. Let's play one of my fast medium types. Uh, let's grab... Let's see. Am I working on training those guys? Yeah, I'm working on training those guys. Because I had taken my T20 crew and put them in the patent when I finally got that one. Much like the T21, this is another one of those tanks that I absolutely loved playing and had a decent crew in it. But uh, I wanted to accelerate the training of my uh, higher tier crew. I heard a rumor that they're working on a way for crewmen to remember training in the tanks they previously were trained on. So I'd be able to take the T20 crew, put them in the patent, and then eventually pull them back into the T20 if I needed to, which would be phenomenal. See, now this is where I wish I had one of my fast tanks. But instead I grab the E2, because hitting people with howitzer is always fun. When you hit them. There's that part. We don't have a whole lot of heavies. So I think I will take this into the bay on the eastern side of the map. Because this is kind of like a heavy. It is pretty uh, heavily built for me. A lot of the American Indians are kind of pokey. Heavily armed, though. That's one of the reasons I love them. And I think I saw when I was waiting for the game to update the medium tanks are also on the list of things to be updated. We're going to start seeing some of the Japanese mediums get tweaks, a couple of French mediums get tweaks. Um, it definitely looks like a little more um, fair rebalancing than what they're doing with the poor artillery. Now, there are some other unannounced changes, too. Uh, supposedly, they're going to be doing something to a number of the German artillery. No word on what that is, which always scares me. Last time they, they just started chunking around on the German artillery, I quit playing them for a while. I sold them all and moved the crew into TDs. Then they changed them again, and they weren't as bad. And I started retraining some new crew. Yeah, I'd love to pull into that road and help these guys out a little bit better. But I got a bad feeling there's somebody else down that road just waiting. Oh, oh hello. Completely forgot about the scout up there. I'll go let the leopard deal with him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that KV2, he is exactly what I was worried about. <laughs> I remember back in the day when HE used to really be a lot more fun. We could do a little more than 50 damage and blow the track off of somebody. Alright, that KV-2 will be around the corner in just a minute. Well, the ten minutes it takes for him to reload. There he is. Critical hit. Critical enough. Yeah. Could have seen that coming too. Around the corner again. 
I got a KV-85 backing me up this time. Alright, there's no more scout in the middle, so we might be able to come around this way. And throw some shots across. I see the KV-2 reposition himself. Always terrifying. Ooh. He was on the other side of the building, wasn't he? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's actually pay attention to the surroundings this time. Look. Is there somebody over this way that could give us trouble? Somebody like that T-3485? Nine for the snapshot. And it did not work out. Huh. Seem to be pushing up on this side. So let's give this a shot. Try to come around. Hopefully not get eaten by Nice shot. Nice shot. Before I even got there. Alright. This one does seem to be going a little bit better. Hmm. Somebody's got eyes on our heavy deck. Let's see if we can get some eyes up over here. Here's the question. Yeah. That's probably spot across in that gap. It's probably that Jackson. So now we're gonna keep safe from the Jackson. Not the Jackson. Yeah! Takes care in. Come on, turn that turret. No, oh, that's not bad. We've lost half of our engine power. We're it's dead for it. Everyone get out. Hmm. Okay. That happened. That's a faster reload than I remember the Jackson having. Because it wasn't the Jackson, it was the T-34S. Well done. <laughs> Do I want to watch? This will be over soon. There's the Leopard. He looks like he's about to... <laughs> don't go alone. See, don't go alone in chat. It's dangerous to go alone. Here, take this. <laughs> Especially with that little pea shooter. Alright. That's one. The T-34S was on low health. Well, that only does you good if you can spot him. Yeah, it's only a matter of time, dude. Do his RNG favor to get the last shot. <laughs> well then. Just in time for our gorilla, too. It appears that he... <laughs> he turned himself over. I don't know what he was doing that he turned himself over. There was no artillery to counter batter. They're, they're, they're the only two enemies were over on our end of the map. But hey, you do you. Alright. That went better. That's, that's okay. That's respectable money. I'll take the win. Um, 
I need to find somebody that has a mod that blocks all the in-game pop-ups for all stuff. All that stuff. I don't care. I don't. I don't care. Where, where's the please don't annoy me with that sort of stuff? All right. Let's see. What else? Let's try to get a. Uh... All right. Let's see what we can do with this guy. The problem is, I don't have the top gun. Or anything even close to it. But, uh... <laughs> take that same 105mm dirt gun I've been toting around with and see if that does me any better at Tier 9. Or see if it serves me as well at Tier 9. And away we go. Is that you? I need to set up a guitar or something that I can play while I'm sitting in queue. <laughs> I got a second channel on the, uh, on the input. <laughs> Maybe I'll get an acoustic electric ukulele. That way it's easier to set aside on the desk when I'm done. <laughs> oh, man. Alright. This is a map that I really haven't seen too much since it came in. I, I like the general idea of it. Um, play Freebird. Stop that. <laughs> I'll play some Metallica on the ukulele. I got the book for it and everything. Um, I just got to remember that this is an assault, so I don't want to push too far forward. Um, I'd love to get out of the radio, but I can't figure out where this learning is going. Which is probably because he can't figure out where I'm going. Because none of us know where we're going. We're not going anywhere. It seems like a metaphor for something. <sighs> I, I also think I may just... Uh, there's a part of me that wants to turn off chat, although it is every once in a while strangely useful. But I think uh, for the live stream experience, I may just move my camera so it is strategically placed over chat. That way, um, if it becomes like a typical chat, I'm the only one that has to endure it. <laughs> All right, there's our little scouty scout going. He's going to beat up on the IS-3. case of where artillery would change things because I would not be taking this position if I had to worry about arty dropping shots although it seems like I'm not as well protected from the uh, downward slope of that hill as I thought I was because those guys who seem to be dropping stuff on me pretty pretty easily too right, let me push up and see if I can help the WZ least give those guys a little more pause before they start recklessly running over the hill. Oh. I think I can. I think I can. Hi, guys. Nice and over. 
I'd hate for something to happen to it. Yeah. I know. You know I know. Oh! Oh! No, nobody saw the SU coming around the corner there. Huh. That, um... Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Back to the garage. That was sad. Probably gonna make my wallet sad too. You know what I do when I get sad? I play artillery. Let me go drop a long distance hello on somebody. I need to grind. Speaking of German artillery, I need to get my times two. Uh, my GW Panther. Stretch. Alright. This was one of the maps I was hoping to get on my scouts. I would have loved this on one of my scouts. Particularly the, uh... The American... That's what the, this is the map that thing was made for. But it is equally excellent in artillery. So let me go find a nice little corner. And ruin some people's days. Slowly. Alright, I got eight years to reload anyway. I probably got enough time to make another sandwich. I mean, it's not as bad as the, you know, American tier eight and nine tanks. Those guys. Uh, <laughs> that's when we start getting into the 30, 40 second reloads with full crew skills and gun rammer and all the other accoutrements. This does not seem to be the smart idea I thought it was. We're a little weak on the group headed to the hill. Hmm. Alright, we'll give it a shot. <laughs> no pun intended. Anytime you got... Oh, you're just gonna camp there. Gotcha. Alright. That's cool. Probably gonna take another sharp turn. BAM! That was close. <laughs> that is one of the nice things about German artillery. You just gotta put it, park it in the right zip code. That was close. He's down to half health. We nearly hit him, but he's almost dead. Bam! He'll run out of cover eventually, man. We gotta find that dude that was on there first, though. That's the point. Oh! And I didn't fire. Dead men yield no points. Alright. If I were him, where would I be hiding? Nope. Uh, 
Okay, that's right. One of us got on. That's what I need to do. I got a couple of function buttons on my trackball. I need to set that joker up so that way uh, I can set the reload. The oh no, I'm reloading the one of the function buttons. All right. If I were hiding from artillery. That's a common spot. Ooh. Backed off? Did I hit him? I'm not sure. Alright. Look at once or twice. Oh, I bet that's where he was hiding. I wonder if you did, sir. Or the gentleman I was, uh... Reaching out to. I just wanted to say hello again. <laughs> guys, guys, guys. Click it once, click it twice. After that, you're just being rude. Oh, never mind. Forget that cat. Enemy already's up. Never mind. I'll let the problem go. He deserves it. for an arty metal so let's see what we can do to support him and yeah bam still I got friends that want to talk to you oh come on this track right there we go guys there we go alright uh, somebody could kindly light up that T28 prototype again that would be awesome Words for him too. Bam! That's what I need to do. I need to make a sound pack every time he hit with Artie. Has a little clip of Emil going BAM! Do I have a shot on this guy? Maybe. Let's try. Oh, 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 look out, look out! Worked out all right. All's well that doesn't accidentally kill an ally, right? That's how that goes. Oh. <laughs> Never mind. I didn't even get a chance to finish reloading. That works. feel better now. <laughs> I wreck some fools. Earn some medals. <laughs> Cause damage or critical hits to more enemy vehicles at least six than any other player. So... All right, third in damage in artillery. <laughs> oh, and look at that paycheck. That's what I'm talking about. All right. What else do I need to get a little grind on anyway while I'm here? That, man. I am so torn. I want to keep moving up the French artillery tree. I really, really do. Um, my problem is the last round of nerfs really took away the advantage of the French artillery and left them with no, no compensating benefit. Um, yeah, it used to be that the benefit to French artillery is that they were super precise. They had a shallow arc, so you could get into a lot of places fairly accurately and do a lot of direct damage through direct hits. But that was when artillery could fire armor-piercing. Then they decided that no artillery shall ever fire armor-piercing, ever. And 
the French artillery just don't have a whole lot of pen, and the HE never had a lot of splash. That was never their thing. And so with all the French artillery, all you're doing is annoying them to death. Accurately, but it's just annoying them to death. You're killing crew and breaking things and making it generally unfun, but you're not contributing in a significant way. Uh, in no small part because Artie's big advantage, Artie's supposed compensation for the lack of armor piercing was the stun mechanic. Except the stun mechanic is based in large part on damage dealt. But with the French artillery, since you're not dealing a lot of damage, you're, if you're stunning at all, it is for absurdly short periods of time. Um, it's why I haven't played my French artillery much. And it's why I stick with the American, the British, and the German. Um, because they, they still, they've always had good splash. They've always had good damage. And, um... And so they they managed to weather that last set round of changes pretty well. Um, I'm not sure about the other artillery lines because I gave up on the uh, the Russian already a long time ago. Um, it was nice when you hit, but the accuracy was so variable. No matter how well aimed, no matter how tight the aiming reticle, it was just... E oh. So random. So random. And if you've ever played a dice rolling game with me, you'll know that random does not usually work in my favor. <coughs> yeah, I know. I know. Alright, uh, so, you know what? How much longer until I get the next, the FE 3805? Because I believe that is one of the artillery that is on their short list of rebalancing. Um, I wouldn't mind enjoying it once or twice before, you know, they help us. Ooh, that's a lot of XP, though. I don't think I'm going to get there before the patch goes out. That's sad. In the meantime, I can still take this out. Have a little fun. Sorry, I, I'm in a British tank, so I need to pinky up. Should be drinking my whiskey out of a uh, teacup. That's how the British do it, right? I mean, ostensibly there's tea in there too, but uh, you know, we all know how that goes. All right, this is another wonderful map for artillery. That valley on the west is really, really hard to support. And I hate that I am the only artillery. If Wargaming is looking for suggestions as a part of their arty rebalancing thing, please, for the love of God, um, let us put in again. Please. I got friends that I can't play with because I already won't platoon, and they only play artillery. Um, and put you know in compensation for allowing artillery to platoon again, cap the number of artillery in any one map to two, so that means you can't have a full three-man platoon of artillery. Um, and it should mean that more matches have two artillery than matches that have three or none, I would think. But I also don't know exactly what the secret math on that is. And <laughs> I love hitting invisible tanks. Sorry, that, that just fills me with glee. Um, okay, <laughs> anyway. What are the odds that he was smart enough to move? Yeah, I think I got time to throw one more round down range. Two, one. Are you smart? All right, he's either smart or that went a little higher than I expected. Always an interesting question. I can. Uh, I could if I hadn't have fired that shot. Might be able to do something about this progetto. Man, 
It always makes me hungry to say that too, because I think it for sure. Alright, maybe I can do something about this FV4202. Oh yeah, you you wanna park right there for a second. No, no! Ah That was close. At least I stunned him. Yeah. After all this said and done, I'm not sure the stun mechanics were fair compensation. Uh, it is at least some compensation for the lack of damage. You still contribute something meaningful, but unlike direct damage, stun requires your team to play as a team. It requires them to be uh, to work in a coordinated fashion. And the way the way they pitched it when they were trying to sell us on the stun mechanic was that it would help increase team play. Makes me think they haven't played the public match as much. Uh, oof, that dropped. Now, that's my own fault, because that terrain's a little funny. Still really would like to do something about him, because he's keeping the KV3 pinned down. And that's not good for any of us. Well, he's playing a lot more forward than he likes to play. Can't imagine why. Ooh. Couldn't have timed that one better. Back right into that. Too bad we don't have any allies to take advantage of that. Although somebody's firing some shots over that way. Alright. Where are you likely to be in four seconds? Oh, never mind. I thought you'd be a little further forward, but okay. That tracked him while I was out. Okay. Be wonderful if I get some is in there. All right. I really want to take a look to the west to see if I could help our email in forty-five TP. But, we have an email and a 45 TP over there. They should be able to handle that. <laughs> hey, Hordes of Locust. How's it going? Surprised you haven't logged in to join the platoon. Alright. This is why I don't get some of the complaints about artillery. If you're playing smart like these guys, you don't have to worry about artillery fire. Up the cliff. Hello, Mr. ISS. Bam. Stay there. Our T25-2 ought to take care of that. Yeah, I'm on. Well, you're welcome to join the platoon if you want. Uh, log into the Discord. You should be able to join the voice chat. I did log in in anticipation of you and or Fart Rock joining. Can I get more splash on that guy? Oh, never mind. He's going to back into it. I'll take it. <laughs> back up into that shot. Are Leo smart or not? I keep forgetting that I got the stream set to a random delay. So <laughs> the messages come a little bit later. Uh, by all means, log in, log in Discord, join the chat, and as soon as this match is over, I will wait to see you in the game. Although, since they let that E25 up, this might be over a little bit quicker than, uh, <laughs> than I realize. Oh, never mind. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Bad things, bad things. Oh, yeah. Oof. Yeah, I know he works weekends now, uh, but sometimes he comes on and plays with me on Friday nights. At least for a couple hours. Usually not late into the night. I'm probably not going to play all that late today. 
because the, uh, the the genius at the top of the district wants us to start working one extra Saturday a month to get the numbers up. Um, yeah. The question is, is if we need to get our numbers up, is there something we should be doing during the normal business hours that make that happen? And if there's not something during the normal business hours, are we going to start making... Ooh! I got a mission. Uh, sorry. Um, ADDO butterfly. And some money. Nice. Alright. Completed with honors. I'll take it. What's the next one? Bot. Alright. Win a battle. At least five times and spot 25 enemies while remaining unspotted. That would be... That would be one for the scouts. Alright, what do you say? Have, have we had enough fun beating up on people with artillery? Shall we, uh go back to the scouts and give that a try again hmm Ooh, personal reserves expired and I think there's a puppy that needs to be fed too okay you got that Ooh, still earn some money though I'll take the money anytime Fart Rock a message, see if he wants to join. Wait for Hordes of Locust. See if he's going to log in and join. I should be on the Discord before too long. <laughs> I'll give them a minute to see, uh, see if they want to hop in. Yeah, so they want to kick the puppy after he's fallen. I, I mean, nerf artillery. Uh, again. <laughs> and, and again, I, I get, I get what they're going after. They're they're mad. They're mad about. There's people mad about getting killed without being able to see their target. But I don't see how that's any different than a highly skilled TD crew taking you out. Um, not much difference there. They're mad about being one shot, two shot, or tag teamed. But I don't see how that's any different than a platoon of um, a platoon of heavy tanks or a platoon of yeah, a platoon of heavy tanks just coming up and. You know, sorry, I'm trying to think of a phrase I can use while kill, still keeping the family friendly rating. <laughs> and and again, the, most of their complaints, it really seems more because artillery than the actual stated reason. Um, because that with, with the actual stated reason. Uh, there's so many other situations that you end up with the same effect that they aren't getting mad about um, That it really just makes you makes you wonder All right. Bam. Invite Invitations are out Let me switch back over to you scouts 
see what uh, Hordes of Locust wants to do. I hope he's trying to join the Discord too. Um, I don't know if he knows, but he clicks on the Watt voice. And that should join him onto the voice chat. That is not on the same delay the stream is. Alright, five, six, seven. Oh, beautiful. Alright. Let's play my T71. Bam. And away we go. <laughs> After work, I definitely am going to try to spend a little bit more time working on some of the channel art, the graphics, and a few other related things on that respect. It's, um, it's one of those things that's been on my mind to do for a while, but the last couple of weeks have been, uh, yeah, been some highs and lows. And the idea of getting some of that work done has been, uh, <laughs> not the top priority to Ooh. Haven't played this guy in a while. Alright, where do I want to go spot? I'm going to go to my usual spot around C2, C3, and uh, <laughs> see what I can see. We do have a fair number of scouts, so that does... I don't know if that helps or hurts. I'm seeing more than a few of the French wheeled tanks, and I'm a little tempted to give those guys a shot. Um, I like the speed, but I hate the low view range. Just really not helping to sell the tank. The uh, gun leaves a lot to be desired, and uh, I'm struggling to talk and drive at the same time. Apparently, all right. Yeah, that's not good. That's not good at all. Should have been through there a lot faster than that. That is one thing that I've noticed. It makes a huge difference where in that random assortment of tanks you end up starting. Um, especially compared to where you would like to go. Oh, more artillery, so that helps. Oop. See if I can fall off the map. I really should put some binoculars on this thing. I used to have them, but then I started doing a lot more active scouting. And uh, binoculars became less important. This is a pretty fast tank, so that uh, that's not good. Getting into the cluster is only going to cause more of a traffic jam. So let's see if I can find a better spot to help out. Some place where I can light up targets. Like that, yeah. Okay, I see where you're going. I see where you're going. Alright. Dancing death goes. Bam. Bravely run away, because their T-71 is coming right behind them. 
appears to have a little more support than I do. Okay. Uh, let's see how Horde's love is going. Like a good heavy taking the southern valley. This is usually the good brawling spot. I'll watch out for that hill cat. I think he's the actual. Here I am moving my head like I can look around the rock like that. Uh, that helped out. We might have some decent shots down this way. At least there's no artillery to worry about. They might usually make that corner a little bit harder to turn at this particular juncture. Covering things up. Ah. Oh, wrong time for my trackball to give me problems. There we go. Ah. Check the battery, see if it's a low battery. I do like the uh, lack of clutter that a wireless trackball provides. Ooh, nice shot. I do like the lack of clutter that a wireless trackball provides. But, every now and again, when there's uh, signal interruptions or low batteries, it uh, makes me think a little less of wireless. Take the win. Ooh. My loader is at a new skill or almost at a new skill. I'm thinking almost because that says 99% right there. I'm a little worried that my loader is named Dexter, though. That that seems something. All right. All right. About middle of the pack in damage and XP. Not not bad. Oh, that, that's what I forgot to do. I was gonna add some personal reserves to the mix. Minimize that. Let me go ahead and yes, let's do more credits. Yes, let's do more free XP. Most of what I'm playing is going to have a free XP requirement. Sorry. Technical troubleshooting with an Anji. In the Discord window. Click on the... What? Voice. That message will get to you on a slight delay if you are listening <laughs> to the live stream. Uh, for those wondering, I take two D10 and I roll them, and that is my stream delay for the day. Because I don't want to do the same delay every time. Uh, it, 
there's always somebody who's going to try to figure it out. I don't want a nice round number because uh, I'm willing to bet that if you're trying to do stream sniping and it's and the first shot doesn't hit right on target, um, then uh, you probably ought to try try a 10 second delay, a 20 second delay, or a 30 second delay. Actually, I'd probably say 10 or 30 would be my first two guesses, and then I'd start going around from there. So. I rolled 2d10, and that's the stream delay. <laughs> that's also why I took the uh, timestamp out of the chat messages. I used to leave those in there all the time because that helped me understand about how far back it was that I was looking at something. And then I realized that if I'm going to be live streaming and people are going to see the timestamps in the messages, they could use that to figure out what the stream delay was. And uh, yeah, we couldn't be having that. I've tried to make it hard for people to stream snipe, although at this point I would love to have a stream sniper because it would bring my view count up to three. And uh, <laughs> early days of the channel, early days of the channel, uh, the technical production's getting there. The technical production's pretty good now that we got the audio issues worked out. It's, uh, I guess we're now at the... Uh, we're at the content part of the problem. <laughs> I love you, man. I really do. You know that? Um, Discord might be minimized in your system tray in the bottom right-hand corner, too. It'll be the funny-looking game controller. Because um, you are logged in. Although it says playing Google Chrome now. Did you... I hope you downloaded the client instead of using the web interface. Not that there's a problem with the web interface, but um, it's, uh, it's not as good as running a local client. It is the web interface or the local client? Okay. Hey, Arcadius. Do, do you mind giving him a call and helping him out? W O T voice. There, there's nothing that says tanks. <laughs> hey, hang tight. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have some help calling. <laughs> huh? No, hordes of locust. <laughs> Do you have his number? Okay. Um, although, fair warning, you do not want to have the stream up while you're doing the voice in the platoon, uh, just so you know. As you're typing in the stream chat, it made me realize that you probably do have that up while we're playing together, and uh, I, I would not recommend that. Over in the... Hang on. Arcadius is calling. He'll walk you through it a little bit. Because over on the left-hand side, you'll on the far left side, you'll see your list of servers. This is an on junior, the the little orange A with the JR in it. And then when you click on that, you'll see a list of all the channels. And over under Watt Friends, there'll be Watt Chat and Watt Voice. You, you've already you've already seen the Watt Chat at least once because you have a message in there. And right below that should be Watt Voice. And if you click on Watt Voice, it will, uh, it should get you to join. <laughs> don't, don't worry. We're, we're laughing with you, not at you. We're laughing with you.
I, I don't know if the delay, the message hasn't gotten to you yet or not, but yes, if you're going to join the voice chat in Discord, you do not want to be on the stream as well. That is one of... Man, all right. I've watched guys like Quickie Baby. I, I've watched guys like, like uh, a lot of Minecrafters from the Hermitcraft series. And I'm looking at all these guys playing. And, you know, they, they've got, uh, like the Minecraft guys, they, they have their, their live chat on slow mode. So it delays a bunch of stuff. And uh, the, the World of Tanks guys have a uh, uh, stream delay on. And, and just interacting with the chat on a delay is, is something that I'm really struggling to adjust to, particularly when I do my World of Tanks Fridays. Um, because messages come back that I am sure make sense in the moment. Like, at the moment, they're typing the chat back. Uh, he does have Discord on. He's showing as online. Um, anyway, so... I... I, I <laughs> Uh, so I look at comments and, and they make no sense to me right now because I don't remember what I said however many seconds ago or I'm not sure if that's in relation it, I really feel like that's in relation to what I just said not what I said however many seconds ago um, that is also one of the downsides to not having a set delay on the stream uh, because at least if I had a set delay on the stream, then I would know that all comments are, you know, 30 seconds behind or whatever. And, um, but again, stream snipers and other people that are the reason why we can't have nice things. Sorry, I'm listening to the technical troubleshooting on the other side. Uh, I love to give my friends all sorts of flack. and into this. I really wish that Discord had a way that I could just like manually add him to the voice channel. Um, I can move people around to different channels once they have joined one. But, um, <laughs> sorry, guys. I, I know this is a boring lull in action, but, um, We will get back to the games here shortly as soon as we get through troubleshooting Hordes of Locust. also know that I'm going to need to adjust the volume once we get in. But 
There you are. Hello. Hello. I see you in the chat. Probably don't have your headphones on. I could say almost anything. Because now you're not on the stream and you're not listening in chat. <laughs> Alright. Alright, alright. Oh, did he have himself muted? No, it doesn't look like he does. No. Oh. So I see him in the channel. about that once today. I'll hold my tongue. While we're waiting for that to finish up, let's take a look at the conditions here. Alright, so... I need a spot and win. No, spot while remaining unspotted. That part was the part I was missing in that last battle. Um can be completed in vehicles from US, UK, or Poland. Okay. And I mean, technically, I don't have to do this in a light tank. I've done some spotting in all sorts of other tanks, so... Digging deep into the computer settings here, folks. <laughs> In fairness, I probably should have gotten them on the phone and walked them through a lot of this ahead of time. I mentioned earlier that I was interested in Tech Tree Frenchies. Where do the wheel tanks start kicking off? Uh, looks like it's these guys here. accelerated crew training because it looks like I'm going to need to start building up some XP in this guy. Uh, just in case I want to pick that AMD up. Yeah, because that is going to be the first wheeled tank. I may start trying to play for those. I don't know how much I like them or not. I kind of wish that Wargaming had a way to try out the tanks. Uh, that didn't involve getting into the test, the beta program, and that sort of thing. That's right, those missions aren't available. That used to be such a fun tank. Still is a fun tank, but eh, not as fun as it used to be. Alright, 
while Arcadius is running him through. I'll go ahead and get another battle going, just so that way we got something going on the stream other than me sitting here staring at the tech tree while uh, while they troubleshoot some things. Somewhere on the list is picking up a better camera too. Something a little less fuzzy. I, I had an action cam that actually does some really, really nice video. The only problem is it is the cheap Chinese knockoff GoPro. I didn't follow my own advice. I didn't go ahead and fork over the money for a quality device. And so um, the USB port is kind of loose. And it just, it comes loose and disconnects all the time. Uh, theoretically, theoretically, I could, um, I could hook it up via Wi-Fi and use it as a Wi-Fi camera, but I don't know that I want to introduce that level of instability into the system. Uh, because there's nothing more reli reliable than a wired connection. Oh, we're all tier 6. Okay. Yeah, I was thinking I'm bottom tier on something. Alright, there is one artillery, so I do need to be mindful of that. Let's hide in the shrub. Go, go, gadget binoculars. Okay. All right. This may not have been my smartest move. Oh, he probably sees me. Yep. Yep. I want to minimize my profile. Uh, never mind. Artie's going for me. I'm going to be somewhere else. I really ought to do something about that track too, but uh... Something else up on the ridge. Yeah, I see him. I see him. I know he's there. The question is, did he see me? For some reason, I thought I had six cents on this crew as well. Um, I know I've got it on most of mine. There we go. I see you. I see you. Got a Jackson bearing in. Uh, I'm just hoping there's nobody else that popped up on that ridge behind him. Alright, if I were the lone artillery, where would I be? Oh, there you are. Oh, and I'm on a full reload. Of course. Alright, come on, Artie. Counter battery. I'll at least take the damage while spotting. Yeah, I was kind of worried about, uh, <laughs> about somebody else coming in. And, uh, while well, I only had two shots, two shots at the ready, so I went ahead to do a full reload. And that seemed like the better part of Valor at the time. Yeah. That works. 
That works. Alright, same deal. Oh, oh, no. Bad idea. Bad idea. Permission to engage. 12 seconds. Never mind. I'll take the spotting. This is part of why I really am not a fan of autoloaders. I mean, truth be told, they just require a different skill set to play right. It's just not one that I tend to uh, tend to hold to. I guess if I practice a little bit more. Oh, are they gonna make it? Ten seconds. We got three people on cap. This could happen. Come on, here we go. Cap it, cap it, cap it. Good. <laughs> I don't know if it was that I'm looking in the chat and I don't know there's so much that they didn't notice as it was they didn't feel like they could uh, <laughs> that they couldn't uh, get back safely in time but uh, uh. and there we go all right not bad. Mastery Badge 3rd Class. Um, especially with autoloaders not being my thing. But uh, I'll take it. That's my big concern is XP. There's a lot of the mechanics that go into that. You know, damage is nice, but spotting is better. Or spotting is still good too, especially if you're trying to play a support role. Alright, uh, let me alt-tab over to Discord real quick. I see the thing lighting up. Maybe if I bump up his volume a little bit. Are you there, Hordes of Locust? <laughs> yeah, I don't think they were getting back there anytime soon. Not, not like that. I, I see, I see the thing flashing. See it flashing like Hordes of Locust is talking, but I don't. I see the thing flashing like you're talking, but I don't hear you. Huh. More troubleshooting online with a non-junior. <laughs> I, I don't know if you can hear me, but go ahead and pick a tank. And uh, I'm probably not going to stay on too, too much longer. Uh, probably till about 9.30 or so, because I, I don't have to be into work until 9 tomorrow. So I might get to sleep in a little bit. <laughs> All right. Uh, you know what? Let's go ahead. Let's cue that one up again. Yeah, I I, I think we're going to have... Or it's Locust. I, I think we're going to have to do a troubleshooting session... Like tomorrow when we're not live on air, when we can have, I can have you like on the phone and we can walk through some of this stuff or maybe do a remote, remote troubleshooting session. Because, uh, by all, by all accounts, it looks like you should be, like I should be getting you over the, over the chat. Well, that's queued up. Let me double check my mixer just to make sure that, uh, uh, nope. Nope, that should all be there. All right. Weird. Why, well, I think this is the quietest I've heard you. <laughs> oh, some days, some days. All right. Let's see what we can do down that little river road and try to spot some people. Because uh, I do have the net and the binox on this. Yeah, either... Uh, 
either on another day or at least sometime after we get done. Uh, we don't need two scouts down that way. I really don't want to go down the valley because it looks like we got too many there already. But I also don't want to like triple down on the scouts either. These guys look like they're going to hang back a little bit, so let me just run up real quick. A quick peek. And then I will be on my way back down. I'm not a fan of the French mobility. These guys turn horribly. That is one of the places where I do like my Americans a little bit better. Um, although, there are days that it seems like the American Scouts have a little too much mobility. Oh, is that really all there is? Just that heavy tank number six? And artillery. Huh. Okay. You know what? Let's see if he's so focused on uh, RT-29 that I'm trying to get around and flank artillery over there. Because if I can knock out at least one of those big guns, that would help a lot. Um. Alright. Yeah, I wonder if that P-43 is AFK? Oh, they seem to be noticing that right? there's people coming down this way. Yeah, I think that P-43 is AFK. As much as I really want to farm damage, that does not seem safe. Enemy armor is damaged. Especially with Artie. Oh, come on, autoloader. There we go. Alright. Alright. That went better. That went better. Ray for full reloads. Alright. There we go. Oh, oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Uh, I'm gonna let yeah, somebody else get his attention. Alright, let's see if I can do something about his E25. Didn't time that reload back. Uh-uh. I hate the reload on that thing, too. Mm. Bam. <laughs> I'll get some spotting damage while everybody else beats them up and finishes them off. Yeah. Mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. I'll stick to my fast single shot. No, I need to learn how to work the auto loaders. All right, uh, back to the garage. I wonder if it's because hordes of locusts joined after I entered streamer mode? All right, uh, cause it's still bothering me that we've used Discord just fine for in-game chat. Arcadius and I use it all the time, so let's try that. And uh, da, 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 show invite. Uh, I've actually got hordes of locusts. Is volume up? That's not usually something you have to do for them. Um, mm, I don't know. I wish I knew what was going on with that one. All right. I don't know if you can hear me on your side. Uh, but let me also go... Where is... Hmm. 
Interesting. Okay. I was going to try to put it back into streamer mode, but oh well. All right. Um, if you can hear me, pick a tank, any tank. And I will switch over to mediums for a little bit. Just in case he can see the in-game chat. fed you. I heard him feed you. Ooh. We lost that last one, but I got a Piscucci's medal. That's always nice. Well, I mean, depends. Depends on if you're the artillery or not. Third and XP? I'll take that. <laughs> Compensation for damage caused by allies. <laughs> and a bonus for courageous resistance. Yes. <laughs> okay. All right. Tier six. All right. Um, what do I want to play? Let's narrow the list down a little bit. All right. Uh, let's take this guy out. Train up my Polish crew a little bit. I definitely, definitely want to get the, uh... I want to get the Polish crew, the work down the Polish line, because I'd like to have the Polish tanks, not because I think they're going to be the most effective tanks to play as a free-to-play player. Um, and I'm not quite at the point where I'm ready to start routinely dropping money into premium time or anything like that. Not yet, anyway. Alright, uh, hmm. Yeah, I think I'm gonna try to skirt around the top of the ridge and spot into the 1-2 alley. Because while this isn't the fastest, it is fairly good. It's got a decent ability to build you up an incline. spot over this way. It sure would be nice if somebody else would... Okay, the IRL is going to come over here and help too. Hmm. Fistful of nope over there. There's probably more where that guy came from. Fistful of nope and a few nope more. Oh, speaking of, hello, Mr. KB3. Let me cut down your firing solutions. Or at least your firing solutions on me. <laughs> the Pope of Nope. <laughs> Wrong game. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no. No, 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 no. I'll, I'll let the T-25-2 and the ARL deal with that. I have neither the armor nor the firepower to manage that corner right there. Especially with that T-26 coming up over the edge. Yeah. Nope. Lots of bad ideas happening here. Bug that wall so the T25 can't get me. Or T26 rather. Blame it on 
I'm not having my contacts in. <laughs> Let's see if I... Yeah. Yeah. heard the ding, but unfortunately Discord is blocking my view of the window. So I thank whoever dinged for whatever caused the ding. I really wish I could see it right now. But this also seems like a really bad time to be alt-tabbing out of tanks. <laughs> oh, oh my. Let's head up this way and see if we can help the P-44. Mm -hmm. This might be a losing battle too. But I'll give it a shot. You only live once. And you can't win by hiding in the back. Oh, come on, Scorpion. Yeah. Oh. I'll take that. I've got three monitors, Redeemer. I got chat up on the left. I've got my restream control panel on the right. And the uh, Discord is over XSplit, which I was using to monitor that sort of thing. And, uh. uh hmm. I do not like where this is going. Okay. Oh. That's, that's a little better. If I can drop some shots in there. Alright, that works. Oh, this is turning around very nicely. I'm not going to come to that from the front, though. Let's see if I can swing... What are the odds I can make it down those rocks? Uh... The better question what are the odds that I can make it down those rocks. Which are probably quite slim. Alright, uh, Yeah. Where did that Hellcat go? And why is nobody else worried about that? Yeah, anytime you gotta ask yourself, where did that Hellcat go? That's that's not usually a good. <laughs> All right, good. While we wait for the victory screen to load. third of XP though um, yeah now you know why the channel is called the 47% because I make the top half possible <laughs> <laughs> at least I'm honest about it I'm not going to try to pretend like I'm the next incarnation of Rommel or something I mean uh, I know that there are people that do that and I you know I'll withhold commentary on that because I want to keep the family friendly rating on the channel and I won't be able to manage that <laughs> and uh, make the comments that I'd like to make on the sort of people who think that they are uh, the next coming of the great patent. <laughs> All right. Oh, I forgot to check which gun I had on the Cromwell. I tend to play it a little bit differently depending on if I got the, uh, you know, the HE derp gun or the longer, more accurate one. All right, so a little more sniping today then. Since I got the longer, more accurate gun, I will head off to that eastern side. Uh, try to keep overwatch on the 9-0 line. Don't have the armor to really push forward. I kind of hope one of our scouts will do that and hope that their visibility uh, covers them. Mm 
going. Alright, he's following those other TDs. That's not a bad way to go. Wouldn't mind getting some vision down this way. Especially since we don't seem to have too many. Oof. Um, you know what? back here for a minute, at least until we got a little bit more. Hopefully that AMD will uh, oh, run forward and spot a little bit. Yeah, no. He's behind something, isn't he? Yeah. Here's the question. He the only one there? I get the feeling that AMD would have spotted him, or I would have spotted him. Oh, yeah. Okay. Let's go follow the follow the border. And hide in this little dip. Oh, never mind. PD's gone too. Alright. <laughs> and ooh. I'm not sure I want a piece of that tiger pity. I know it's got soft armor and all that, but it's got a big honking gun. And you know what? that. No, no, we just lost our scout. I think I will try to find some other way to be useful. Maybe throw some lights over this way. Spotted me. Shoot. Oh, is that the heavy tank that was open? No, yeah, no, that's. Uh, bye bye, heavy tank number six. Ah. useful. Alright. Uh, see if I can get eyes on that heavy tank. Right. I'm going to wait here. Yeah, that's what I was hoping. Of course, if I'm proxy spotting him, he is proxy spotting me. And he's probably going to eat me a lot. Oh, not unless he can read a map and see my uh, help coming. Can he see my help coming? My help is coming, right? Yeah, okay, good. Alright. That's it. Focus on the fast tank. Spotted. Don't worry that somebody's tucked into a corner somewhere. I'm not too proud. It'll 
either force somebody to act. <laughs> Go get him, guys. You got 34 seconds. Yeah, I see the don't cap. I get the mentality. I really do. I, I understand that you get more points from a win by killing them all than you do from a win by capping. But you can spend all day going after them, getting eaten alive by each and every tank. And then what have we done? Lost. I would just as soon win by capping then lose because we got greedy for the kills. I've seen way too many replays, way too... I've experienced too many games where we lost because of the don't cap kill all mentality. I'd just as soon be sitting here as a backup so that way if... You know, how many tanks did we lose there? We lost a couple of them. You know? A lot of people would have had a lighter repair bill if we just sat on the cap. That's all I'm saying. Hey. Oh, my driver's got a new skill. Sweet. All right, that's not bad. Top third in XP. I'll take that. I mean, I do check by damage too. That is nice to know. <laughs> got clutch breaking. Let's start working on smooth ride. That is a skill? Yeah, that is a skill. Alright, let's do smooth ride. Don't worry, I won't try singing it to the tune of uh, slow ride. <laughs> uh, maybe when I start getting some vocal lessons after my house sells. Alright, uh, let's see. Wants to move up some tiers. Ah, yes. You know what? I want to say I'm working toward... No, th I do have this maxed out. Okay. For some reason, I thought I was still working on, on a few things towards it. Ah, let's play the Centurion anyway. It is a fun tank to play. for tier 10 battles. All right. Mm. And Empire's Border. This, the, this is one of those maps that it looked really good on paper. It looked like a really good idea. Um, it seemed to play earlier when it, better when it was first released. And But ever since I came off hiatus, it, I, I think something moved or something changed or... I don't know. There's something really weird about this one, and I, I don't like it. I can't figure it out. I can't figure out what's wrong. I can't figure out what's changed. And you know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and follow the. What? Oh, these people trying to tell him not to go down that way. Seriously. It looks good, and, and certain certain tanks do do a lot better in it than the ones I tend to play. Um, this is no fun when you're playing artillery either. Um, well, depending on where you spawn, at least. Speaking of artillery, there is at least one to worry about. But, uh, yeah, everybody's got their favorite maps. There's some people that absolutely love the close quarters city maps, and I, 
That's good. More power to you. Um, I like a lot more of the wide open maps. Um, I think this is going to be one of those ones that like swamp. If they move, or not swamp. Um, oh, I can't remember the name of that app right now. There was one map that's been around since for as long as I've played. And uh, it was a really weird, unbalanced map until they changed where the cap circles were. Like, they flipped the map sideways. And it changed the dynamics of the map completely and made it an absolutely phenomenal map to play. Um, and I get the feeling that this is going to be one of those type maps where it's rough and weird and awkward and all it takes is one person getting just the right type of advantage and it's all over. Um, and then the second they move something, the second they move something or rearrange or figure out whatever it is that's causing the weirdness, um, I got a funny feeling that it's going to take just kind of flipping the way they think of the map to, to change the way it ends up. And dude, I am a little worried about somebody coming up on that flank. I'm just saying. For sure. That's... No, no, no. You're pushing too far up there. I'm not about to YOLO up into that. Not to a brawl between tier 10s. It doesn't look like it's... Come on. Ah! Clutch the shot at the last minute. One, two, one. Oh. That's it, huh? Track it. Oh, that was probably a cheat. Yeah, Hordes of Locus, you might want to back up. I do believe we've gotten ourselves into a peck of trouble. Okay, more than a peck. Although by the sounds of the capping, uh, we're already in bad shape. Dude, you got the armor. I'm trying to hide behind you. <laughs> yep. No. If you can hear me through chat, it is time to run. If you can hear me through Discord, it is time to run away. It's time to make like Sir Robin and bravely run away. <laughs> you heard me. I don't think you heard me. That's about to be sad. That's about to be really sad. Oh. Run away, hordes of locusts. Run away. This is not going to go well. That's it. Keep backing up. Keep backing up. Yeah, I shouldn't have turned around to try to help you. I couldn't just leave you there. I mean, I should have, but I couldn't. Yeah. Yep. No, I guess we're going back to the garage. <laughs> nah, that was my own fault. Uh, I should have realized that it was a bad... I should have realized that it was time to back out of that way sooner. Way sooner. <laughs> oh, that, yeah. That was not the time to be hanging around there. <laughs> oh, okay. All right, so that happened. Ah, well. That's life. <laughs> wow. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. Maybe we should stick to our tier sixes. <laughs> we were doing so much better in those. Uh, low. Which gun do I have on the... Okay, good. 
I got the Saturday Night Special on here. I haven't played this tank in a while. It's almost perfect. I love the armor. It's got really good mobility and decent speed. Um, I just hate the Russian gun depression. I hate it with a passion. It's like the Russians never thought they'd ever have to point down at something. I... I just, I don't, I don't know. Ooh. Earned a reward? Huh. Cool. I will take the Vent Purge Directive. Yeah. Alright. What did I get that award for? I don't see anything on the... Oh, for the reward for Merit, probably. I forgot that I had that thing running, too. All right. Yeah. <laughs> wow. If that was a reward for merit on that one, I, I, I hate to see how everybody else... Ooh. Ooh. They hit me in the wallet. They hit me in the wallet. Where's my wallet repair kit? He might not have a tier 7 to play with this. I thought he did. Hmm. Alright. Grab one. Let's have some fun. I originally thought I was going to be doing playing nothing but light tanks today. Just kind of hanging out in shrubs and spotting or wheeling around the field madly. Uh, anybody watching the first hour of the stream will see that uh, that is not what ended up happening. It, it was a it was a sad, sad sight indeed. <laughs> All right, I just heard something else beep. Uh, oh, looks like a message in Discord. Um, hmm. I'll have to check that in a minute. I don't want to do that while this is loading. 20 seconds. Ah. I have no idea what I'm... Okay. I'll have to try that again. This isn't a bad map either. Where do I want to go? Took me a second to reorient myself. I know they upgraded the visuals on the maps while I took my little hiatus from World of Tanks. And it means that every now and again, a map that I know and am very familiar with, I, I will, for whatever reason, not recognize. Just because I, I haven't seen it since it was redone. Um, or I haven't seen it often enough since it was redone. And first, yeah, this one just took me a second. It shouldn't have, but it did. Um, oh, get tucked in. Do I want to push? I don't have a whole lot of support. Alright, you know what? Let's go ahead up into these buildings anyway. I got the armor, I got a couple of heavies following, we got that scorpion doing overwatch. I think that P-43 is AFK because there's no way, there's no way he's spotting anything useful there, or doing anything useful. I'm more worried about that comet. And the two artillery in the map. Hmm. Alright, I know where the comet went off to. Did any of his friends join him? Oh, somebody saw me. Alright. Hug the building. 
before Artie says hi. I much prefer being the artillery ruining someone's day than the other way around. <laughs> That is one of the reasons why I like this tank. Because you can lob a nice round of HE downrange, and when it hits, it is glorious. Sometimes. I, I am still a little salty about some of the HE nerfs that went through. Uh, it looks like they lemming trained into the city. Did they really let me train into the city? Is there nobody else watching this north? I get kind of nervous when I see stuff like this. I mean, it is. This is World of Tanks. It is eminently possible. The, oh, uh, yeah, no, not completely unwatched. And this is where the gun depression really irks me. So I'd love to jump right in. He's backing down the hill. Can you, oh. Lost the track. Bounce. Bounce. Ah, at least made it hurt. Careful, horse. He's got a friend. Be nice if one of our two artillery could uh, drop something on that STRV, though. Get home and make this a push a little bit further. The mediums are on a rush out over, over behind us. Okay, now they got him. Good. Small events. Small events. Still already safe. Got decent look up on the hill. I'm worried about that AMX though. Oh, Lords of Locus is behind me. That IS-2 is coming up to support. The AMX is coming to flank. Alright, cautious push. Yeah. Did they get him? Alright, that's gotta be their scout. Oh! Their T-29? What are you doing here? Not critical enough. He's still looking angry at me. <laughs> I always love that. 32 damage. Critical hit. I know what they mean by it. But, uh... It just doesn't seem critical enough. <laughs> Bounce that shot. love the armor on the T-29. But man, that gun really is overdue for a buff. I mean, if you want to give me broadside like that, I'll take it. I'm worried about artillery, though. Uh, ah, I can't get a good shot on him. I can get a good shot on him, though. I'll take it. I'll take it. I uh, will shoot. We are winning. But that did not come lately. And that time the snapshot did not work for me. But hey, oh. that's what friends are for. Nice job, Hordes of Lotus. Alright. Come on, you rotten little scout. And this is where I look like I'm gonna charge recklessly over the hill and not. Because, yeah, I kind of figured that is exactly what I had going. He wouldn't be nearly so brave if he didn't have backup up there. Come on. Come on, somebody finish him off. Yeah, yeah. Eat it. <laughs> Ready to fire. 
Oh, come on. Alright, that works. I'll take the spot. XP is XP. Okay. Union one completed. Da. We had decent money making day. <laughs> spotter. <laughs> I got spotter in a nearsighted Russian medium. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. All right, I hear. Dude. Forwards. Locust know that I'm up for one more match for the evening on stream and then I'm gonna call it an evening and uh, ooh, what do I want to do what to do what to do let's take the SCR out and then we'll probably try to do a little troubleshooting on the discord so that way next time we can actually hear the interplay. Because it would be nice to actually communicate with Hordes of Locust, you know, <laughs> not telepathically. <laughs> so many jokes. So many sarcastic remarks. I don't even know where to begin. All right. really want to rush up to that hill in the east, but that's one of those ones that either everybody goes or nobody goes. If everybody goes, it's too crowded to be useful. If nobody goes, then, uh... You're in trouble. But that is the perfect place to take the Swedish tank. Because it has some of the best gun depression. It's soft. It's slow. It makes some of the British TDs look maneuverable. Okay, it's not that bad. But, <laughs> but, uh... Man. It is good for working a ridgeline. Or a hill or some sort of incline. Ooh. Yeah. Full on codes for Robin, but uh. I think we might have surrendered just a little too much on this push. Dude. We're killing these walls. How sad is that? Well, I'm trying to remember now. I don't think I have the top gun on this one. Yep, nope. Popped up in the same spot too often. Time to go be somewhere else. Let me sit and stare at that ridge for a little bit. further and further away from the support. This, this does not seem smart. 
Stop. Oh yeah, that KV-2 is looking for me. Somebody else can bait that shot. Yes, sir. Type 58 is coming out to say hi. Don't mind him. Oh. about this TD. There we go. At least that limits what you can do. Ah. Uh. Alright, fine. I'll just keep trading shots then. Unfortunately, you can trade better than I can. Yeah. Once I got tracked. Alright. Well, since the entire platoon seems to be dead, I'm going to head back to the garage. And so that happened. <laughs> Thank you, Redeemer, for joining along with today's stream. I do World of Tanks Friday night, 7 p.m. Eastern until about 9 to 10, depending on if I have to work the following Saturday or not. Um, I also stream Minecraft as a part of the CoffeeCraft server. It was originally on... Um, it was originally on Mondays, but as of this week, it has officially moved to Tuesdays. So if you are into Minecraft, check us out on Tuesdays at 7 p.m. And... If I don't start it this coming Thursday, the following Thursday, I will definitely be starting another one called Games Revisited, where I take some older games from a while ago and, um, well, revisit them. The, I'm going to start off with Knights of the Old Republic, the first one from back in 2003, and we get to see those wonderful 2003 graphics and all their pixelated glory and uh gonna do a playthrough gonna have fun with it uh definitely gonna do some commentary along with it uh it is one of the games that has been highly recommended by arcadius uh the gentleman who also streams with me on most well all the mondays and hopefully most of the tuesdays uh, is one of those games that he has recommended to me for years. And just for whatever reason, I never got around to playing it. And then Steam had it on sale for like 10 bucks, and it's like, yeah, okay, let's do this. So uh, that will be starting either this coming Thursday or the Thursday after that. It all depends on how things are going with YouTube. I've been having some issues with YouTube over the last couple of weeks. Where, for whatever reason, uh, Restream says it's sending the data over to YouTube. And YouTube's going, what live stream? <laughs> and, yeah. So, uh, the la this past Tuesdays went up. No, sorry. This past Mondays went up, but Tuesdays did not. So, the question is going to be if this one went up or not. It will help determine whether or not I start Games Revisited this Thursday or the following one. But um, that's the schedule. That's what's coming up. I thank you for joining. Let's see if this is working. One, two, three. There we go. <laughs> thank you very much. Ooh, that's what I was waiting for. Before I left, I really wanted to see how that last battle went. That was a defeat, not the way I wanted to go out. Still managed to stay middle of the pack on XP, so that's okay. Uh, down in the bottom third on damage, which is understandable given this particular one. And, well, at least I made money. Consolation prize, right? Alright, so. 
Wrong one. There we go. I also got to work on getting a little switcher or something set up. Um, but that's, uh, I'll, I'll talk about that another day. Thank you very much. Have fun. Enjoy. And I will see y'all.